Welcome back to Wish Trend TV. Yay. Yay! It's your girl Eunice in the house today, and, and your girl Katie. Yay. Welcome back to Wish Trenders. We, we got, got you. you. Yay. That was not planned. <laughs> <laughs> What's today's topic? Ooh, do you guys want to guess? Yes. Dun -dun -dun. How to control excessive sebum. <laughs> That's a really good one because I know a lot of people are dealing with that concern. Mm -hmm. So perfect I topic. Am. They want to see our beautiful guest. Mm -hmm. All right, so introducing to you our special guest, Louisa. Woo! Welcome, Louisa. Come, come, come. Yay! Hello, hello, hello. Ah, How hello. are you, Louisa? Good. How are you guys doing? Great, How's kind everyone? of. Good. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Louisa. I'm currently living and working in Seoul. Um, I'm really excited to be here today, especially for today's excessive sebum topic because mm -hmm. I really struggle with excessive sebum too yeah. for like years now mm -hmm. and I have acne prone, oily combination type mm -hmm. skin. So mm -hmm. today's topic is really gonna um, be great for me. For yeah. sure, for sure. We're so da, 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 da. You can, you can wear however like, you want. Whatever Cover floats your my, boat. Uh, forehead. Yeah. Let's break, break it, it down. down. So it's gonna be how to control excessive sebum. Oily skin, yeah. or if you guys are suffering from excessive sebum. So we put them into different categories, and Louise, our guest, will help us read it, right? Ooh, yes, yes. And we're gonna answer them throughout the live, so be sure to stay tuned, and we're also gonna give some tips and product recommendations. Definitely. Ding dong! The first question from Jermaine Hang is What kind of foods should I eat to prevent breaking out and habits to sending love from Singapore? Aww, Yay, much thank love you. from Singapore. So basically, if you want to prevent mm. like excessive sebum or acne from forming, we recommend that you avoid eating overly stimulating food. That Meaning, so we're not saying completely get rid of them, right. but maintaining a healthy lifestyle and mm. eating choice is super mm. important yeah. so that you guys maintain a clean face. Yeah. And also, as I mentioned, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you don't want um, to build up excessive stress yeah. or um, physical fatigue also mm -hmm. impacts our body because it will create it will secrete excessive hormones mm -hmm. onto our body, which then can lead to acne mm -hmm. and excessive oily skin. Definitely. And so make sure to have a consistent sleeping schedule right. and a consistent like schedule overall mm -hmm. so that you guys can help maintain your skin to be at its best. Yes, for and sure. And we'll also be recommending some products later on to Yay. even help with that. Seriously, Woo. good question. No. Okay, so we have our second question from Magali S says, Hi Wish Trend TV, I have oily skin and I would love to know what type of products and ingredients I can use in winter because with cold weather, mm. I can see that my skin asks for more moisture, but if I use oily products, it tends to break out. Mm. What should I do? Please help me. That's, yeah. that's a great question. Mm. I think there are ingredients that's also commonly well known that oily skin types already know off the bat, which mm. are clay, and charcoal. Mm, so those yeah. are really common ingredients that can help to control sebum and really remove that dead skin cells and impurities off of your skin. Mm -hmm. right. However, did you guys know that niacinamide is also a really good ingredient to Ooh. control sebum at the same time, hydrate your skin really Ooh. deep with it. So keep those three in mind when you're choosing mm -hmm. a product. Yeah. And you know some products mm. with clay it's so stripping and it's yeah. too dry that's like the problem all I, the time I for sure that. i think that's one of the reasons why my why magalia may have asked this mm -hmm. question mm. so make sure that you have to hydrate your skin at the mm. same time if you are using a product that's really stripping or that feels like yeah, it just yeah. stripped away that moisture off of your skin yeah. you do have to hydrate because sometimes when your skin's too dry it kind of sends the stupid message or wrong message saying mm. it's your skin's dry your skin's dry so yeah. oil gonna produce more they're gonna produce more sebum which is really a bad thing so mm. keep that in mind okay mm. <gasps> Ding -dong! okay we have our next question you guys it is from Pam Leva I hate the excessive sebum that my skin produces especially when it's dehydrated do you know a good routine to make my skin less oily but hydrating it at the same time Ooh. thank you wish trend thank you Pam for the question yeah. you're so right when our skin is lacking moisture it creates excessive mm. sebum mm. so sebum is like a natural barrier for our skin to right 
you know, stay moisturized. And so what we need to do, even if you are dealing with oily skin, is to use a hydrator. Mm -hmm. Now you want to use something that is light because obviously oily skin people tend to have natural oil. Right. But you still want to keep your skin moisturized and keep the oil water balanced. Mm -hmm. So maybe share a full routine for you guys. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, okay? It's gonna be very detailed explaining each product. Yes. So it's gonna be really good. Right. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding okay. Dong. We have our next question from okay. Alina J. It mm -hmm. says to please recommend an exfoliator for oily skin. Ooh. Okay, good. All right. Dun 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 dun. This is. Look at this beautiful packaging right now, matching our background and our pajamas. Yes. yes. So perfect. <laughs> so this is Biowistrend Acid Duo Two Percent Mild Gel Cleanser, mm -hmm. and I know that a lot of people have been waiting for an expo exfoliant that's really mild, mm -hmm. and you guys are gonna yeah. be really happy because there's PHA. In mm. here, yes. Oh, LHA and PHA, both mm -hmm. of them in here. So it's gonna be a really mild chemical exfoliant that you can uh -huh. use as a cleanser. <laughs> okay, so this is a new one. The packaging's so pretty. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna show you the texture. Okay. Maybe do two pumps like that. Two pumps? Two is pumps. that enough for the entire face for you? Yeah, for yeah. me, it, it's plenty enough. Mm. Oh, yeah, I definitely wanna see how much it bubbles. Yeah. It bubbles a lot. Which is kind of surprising because a lot of gel cleansers don't bubble right, that well. Exactly. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. I thought it would be hard to lather. Yeah, yeah. But I'm really good with lathering. Like okay. even oh, you know okay. green tea and now then I want to try it to see if it's just your. <laughs> it's like a competition. Yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> can create the most bubbles? It looks wow. like you're creating foam out of nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah. But yeah. guys, there is water. There's <laughs> magic. <laughs> This is how it looks like. It lathers up pretty good for mm. like we said for yeah. gel cleanser. How does it smell? Do you want to smell it? I can't really smell oh, okay, it, okay. So, but I can try. Ooh, it's it very, smells yeah, light. I it's, can smell anything. You know like when you use a really good exfoliating just uh, wash, it mm -hmm. just feels very just refreshed Clean and, and refreshed. Uh, and just smooth okay. and so it's just, mm -hmm. oh you could touch it babe. I'll just wash it anyway. Oh, it's very soft. Kintanchi. Very soft. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ding just dong. in time. Mm. All right, guys. So from Mackie King, we have a question. Can you recommend skincare products for my oily skin? Mm. Ooh. Great question. Yes. So even for oily skin, we mm. definitely recommend using an oil cleanser first to make sure that you get rid of thick makeup or waterproof makeup. Because sometimes using a just regular cleanser, I know it doesn't wash off my waterproof like eyelashes that I like the mascara that I put and foundation. So I know when you have oily skin, you don't want use anything that's too oily mm -hmm. but using a mild oil cleanser like this Claire's one right here the gentle deep black cleansing oil it will help emulsify and break down the makeup that you have and it will cleanse your skin without stripping away its oil but you can just start rubbing okay then, oh, it just makes so yeah, Louisa perfect. is currently using this right now yes. yeah you can tell kind of because it looks shiny right mm -hmm. oil mm-hmm Mm. So you just kind of Ooh. massage it on your face in circular motion to help break down the makeup, mm -hmm. like what mm. Louise says. Yeah, and it smells really fresh. Okay. Mm, yeah, mm. and what oil does, it breaks down the makeup, it like right. melts it all away. Uh -huh. And even any of the sunscreen that you have on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. So I feel like a milky consistency mm -hmm. on my skin. Feels very creamy and hydrating though. Mm. This, like the price itself is not really cheap to be honest, mm -hmm. but it's so worth it guys. Just starting from the packaging. It looks kind of so, high end. Yeah, it looks really beautiful. And then it not just comes with a big soap, but it comes with the 100% linen mm. yeah. fabric right here for mm -hmm. y'all. So we're gonna do a bubble mask pack. And Ooh. this is good, really good for oily skin types. Ooh, do you wanna excited. bubble it up and lather yeah. it up? And just imagine yourself doing this at home, like right. really. So you can actually take out any steps that you didn't like. You can add in any steps that you mm. like. So you guys, it's up to you guys. So you can, you know, work at it. Don't rub it. Just put it on. Like oh, just a, put it on. Yeah. Just kind of like show you pat something. it on. Yeah. When I was trying to um, get it bubbled up, mm. like at first it feels very creamy. Right, mm. right. So it's a little bit hard at first to get the bubbles, but once you go, go and you it. lather in, mm -hmm. it, like the bubbles form very easily. And probably the oil on your hands kind of made it less right, oilier, maybe. but yeah, 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 probably after you get that off, it's gonna be foam up much yeah. better. And then what you're gonna do is you don't have to do this. This is 
totally optional for you guys. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't use this on my face. I only use it on my body because it irritates my skin. Mm -hmm. However, for oily skin types or normal skin types, mm -hmm. they absolutely love it. It feels really gentle, but mm -hmm. it really feels like it's cleansing my skin going mm -hmm. deep in. Right. But it's not like aggravating or anything. Right, right. It's just really soft on the skin. Yeah. So it yeah. feels really good. So the toner that we're recommending here is the Claire Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. And the reason why we're recommending this one is if you guys have sensitive skin, this is great because it is free of essential oil. And if you guys are sensitive to fragrances, this is also free of any like scent. Mm. So this is great for that. Yeah. And what you can either do is you can either like put it on your hand and then like you know, tap it in. Mm. But if you're struggling with oily skin, it's nice to use a cotton pad to kind of remove additional like excessive sebum mm -hmm. and yeah, impurities, impurities left found on the skin. Perfect. So here we have the compressed cotton pad from Claire's. I also like using the cotton pads because you can. It's kind of gross, but you can kind of see the. You can the see dust. what comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it left. feels like it's really getting that Definitely. out. Definitely. Some a lot of the product. product. Yeah, I can yeah. do a close up for them yeah. too. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but you can tell that it's absorbed pretty yes. well. Yeah. So, when I use a cotton pad, it irritates my skin a bit. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the reasons uh, people, some people don't like drench it enough, but you gotta uh -uh. fully drench you the cotton pad. Long. Yeah, and then it gets so much softer than yeah. when it's dry, you know? So and keep using that in mind. A right, like, using the right cotton pad is good, because so there important. are some that are like, meant for exfoliating, kind of like that loofah pad. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one that Claire's has, it's not like the super like scratchy kind of right, material. Right, it's right. really soft, mm -hmm. right? You, you can tell when I you like, like it. put it's it on. I like it. It's really, really oh. soft. Yeah. Really soft. All right, this is the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. And one good thing is that it is really cooling. Mm. It's like a very, it reminds you a lot of aloe. There's no aloe in here, but it reminds you a lot of the aloe gel because it's mm -hmm. really cooling. Let me show you the texture. They're all clear, so it's a little hard to see, but you I can, can see, see that, them. right? Yeah. You know, degree of the temperature on your skin. So it helps to control sebum as well, and it, it prevents excessive sebum. Yeah. It feels really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And usually, like, some serums are very, like, watery, yeah. very liquidy, mm -hmm. but this one is kind of like a gel consistency. Yeah. yeah. And it I think feels... that's why, like, Yuna mm -hmm. said, it reminded her of aloe. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And I know for oily skin, sometimes we don't want to use anything that's like too creamy or mm -hmm. like too oily. Yeah. So we recommend here from I'm From Line, the vitamin, t vitamin tree water gel because mm. it's oil free, but it's super hydrating. Right, and I right, can show right. you guys the texture as well. So as you can see from the jar, it's like really clear and lightweight looking. Mm. So make sure that, as I mentioned that before, hydration mm -hmm. is key, even right, right, in right, oily right. skin. Mm -hmm. So you want to lock that moisture in with some kind of cream at the end here. This is the water gel. I love putting a thick layer on like sleeping mask though. Mm, like yeah, after nice. your cream, yeah. oh, it just feels so nice. And like when you wake up in the morning, it's not like it hasn't soaked up everything. Ugh. You know how sometimes it's like too rich, like yeah. it, your skin didn't eat up everything, but yeah. with this, every, it's all soaked in. So mm -hmm. it feels really nice yeah. in the morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thank you guys so much. Bye! Bye.